Oh, jeez. I was about to do my intro. Nitrous boosting? You can't boost without equipping your bike with nitrous. Purchase an upgrade at any encampment mechanic. Once equipped, press Alt while on your bike to boost. Now, I know uh, motorcycles aren't regaled as the safest vehicle ever, but... I don't, I don't think I would slap nitrous onto a motorcycle. I just, I don't think I would do that. I mean, even, even in the scenario of it's a zombie apocalypse, you gotta get away fast. It's like, I'm still pretty sure I would accidentally kill myself with that, as opposed to doing any good. Another infestation zone. Yeah, we can't, uh... for me is all. I know you ride with him. You tried to radio him. You can't seem to reach him. When you see him, you tell him to swing by and say hello to Cope. Much appreciated. Copeland out. No problem, Copeland. I'll get right on that just as soon as I learn to give a crap. <laughs> One of the game's like, oh, you showed up somewhere early? We'll just take care of that for you. There you go. Who's shooting? Gonna track the zombies. Can't be shooting. Well, to be fair, I've done that a few times and still haven't really drawn any zombies in, so I guess I'm the chucklehead. Although, wait, don't we have to... Huh. I thought we had to do something here with the body. Interesting. Okay, we looked at that really nice. Yeah, we do. I'm pretty sure we have to burn the body. Um, Storylines. Active. There we go. Burn the corpse. Yep, I was right. I, I could have sworn we had to do that. Nope, that not like that, Deacon. That's that's not how fire works. Oh my god! Oh, that's an explosive. Okay, Deacon. Deacon, that was not... That was not the correct thing, Deacon. Okay? Yeah. I don't I don't even know where you got that. They can't get you now. Where Where did you get that explosive device? Yep. Leon's a drug thief and a murderer, and he's got a price on his head. Thankfully, we killed him. I'm kind of wondering why Alvarez's bike isn't worth keeping, but, you know... Who am I to know such things? Yep. Yeah, that's how I figured that went down. We should have left. We should have left Leon for the zombies. It's one of those things. It's like some people do deserve to get eaten alive by zombies. Now I'm not sure where exactly. Oh, that's right, the angel statue. I'm pretty sure that's it up there. Let me just go ahead and stab you in the brain. There you go. That deer meat is mine. Ah, that Angel. Yep. This has got to be it. Now, where'd you hide the stash, Leon? Where's the stash, Leon? Deacon, that's not how stairs work, buddy. Okay, nope. Oh, there you go. That, that top stair is always tricky. Margaret Alice Miller, the guardian angel. Okay. Well, thankfully, we looked at that. Where's, uh, where's the beef, so to speak? The flower over here. That's not really what we're here for, but I will take it. Give me it. Oh, wild bergamot. Thank you, wild bergamot. Oh, this is what probably... Got? Yun's crowbar. Which you... Oh, maybe in one of these. Probably the one we're having a vision of... Oh, that's why Leon's crowbar is bent. Because he tried to stuff it in a stone cairn, and it's just like, nope. Got it. I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Oh, well, that's zombies. No, not that way. Boozer, Boozman, are you listening? Uh, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper. A, a chopper. What are you talking about? 
A Nero chopper! It, it just buzzed right over me and acted like I wasn't even there. Well, all this time and a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere? I'm gonna chase them down and I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing. Hey, Deke. Be careful. Get too close to them. You know what the hell they're doing. Don't do anything stupid. Oh. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. Just like beating zombies to death with a spiked bat. Nothing stupid about that. Or you know what? Ooh. There we go. Is this... Are they still alive? Are more coming? What am I doing here? Oh, I'm repairing it. Okay, I was gonna say, what am I, what am I doing right now? Right on target. Bullseye. Am I not? Where? Am I? Oh, I'm just, oh, I trapped the drug. How am I going to tie up the thing I'm no longer holding? The answer is, I'm not going to. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Can still hear the chopper just on the, the edge of my hearing here. Investigate the chopper sighting. It's over there. Now, how much gas we got? 48? That ain't bad. We can... I think the first time I played this and I went to go drive over there, I had like 2% gas left and I had to push the bike up the hill here. Thankfully, whoa, we don't. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. They're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. It does look like they're stopping. It's, we got an umbrella chopper here going on. It's You're a researcher. What the hell are they doing? Out here? Go check them out. See what they're doing. All right, gotta go in quiet. Nero soldiers and researchers wear special armored hazmat suits and are immune to your attacks. Stealth marking. Talk with the binoculars with B, and yeah, we we knew that one. If they see me. Yeah, these these sections really kind of slow down the pace of the game, but these are more story based, so just roll with it. Stay in the shrubs. They can't see me in there. It wasn't even my turn on the duty roster. Got everything you need. How are you doing? Thankfully, we have the Far Cry Infinity Rock, which just allows us to throw rocks always until the end of time Seems like it's always right here. something nefarious is going down oh hi how are you, you got the time. Mm, shrubs oh yep oh my bad <laughs> nah you don't see me right? you don't see me yeah, man, just go back to uh, go over there. There you go. Jesus. Field note two zero zero zero. After tracking a large moving group, estimated size of five to six hundred, we have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at. Hey Doc, I see site twenty three on the roster for tomorrow. That us? No, that's O'Brien. Got it. Oh, shit, where was I? We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at the High Desert Grotto, now designated site fifteen. Trampling of grasses and plants at the entrance and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Note to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside. Can't go. Can't you hear me? 
Over 400 subjects. And these aren't just your regular run of the mill freaks. These are stage three. Then what the hell sleeps like babies? No, 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 forget it. Forget and I asked if you were going in. Didn't say I was. And these subjects are not sleeping, they're hibernating. Ever woken up a hibernating bear? No. Ever woken up a hibernating freak? Yeah, actually. I was one of the survivors of the White King mine. Jesus. Someone tear my buddy apart like he was peeling a banana. These suits protect you from a lot of shit. But not them. Holy shit, Corporal. Jesus, I'm, I'm sorry. That mission was foobar from the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. I think if I sealed up this cave, we, I don't know, knock down their population. I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. Seal the caves. Yeah, right, like anyone gives a damn. I mean, Deacon, they... They probably do, you know. They're they're literally out here running tests and stuff. I'm sure someone, somebody does. Now let's get out of here before somebody spots us and we die. And by die, I mean we have to redo this section over again. <laughs> Which is, I'm pretty sure, what happens if you fail these stealth sections. What are we doing out of here anyway? What you told? A ship. All right, so far so good. Stick to the bushes. He said while well, not sticking to the bushes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Infinity Rock, go! Turn around. Turn around. No, don't not turn around this way, you idiot. Anyone else hear that? That was close. That was really close. We definitely almost failed that. <laughs> that was almost bad times. Well, ooh, a nest. I like sometimes they take over entire houses and fill them as nests. Alright, made it. Whew, pulled it off. We're going out! Load up! Load up! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Let's go! Finding Nero. Nero, the National Emergency Response Organization. What are they doing out here? It's a good question. It's a very good question. Crafter Sweet Residue Bolt. Residue bolts cause enemies to turn on each other. Try using them to wreak some havoc. No, I'm, I'm good. I'd just rather leave if it's all the same to you. I don't think there's any gas up here, unfortunately. Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. I'm here. Let me go down a farewell. The Nero guy, the soldier, whatever the hell he was, who took Sarah. Wait, what, what are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God, O'Brien. Oh, shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Okay, he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard... Okay, look. I went into their LZ, and they... Wait, wait, you, you went into their LZ? What the... Just listen to me. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Deke, don't... Not! Boozer, I'm not. I'm just... Hey, uh... Get some sleep. Deke it out. It's like, yeah, I want to tell you all this stuff, but I know you're going to instantly say I'm crazy because I've done crazy things in the past, but I'm specifically not crazy now. Yeah, dude. I took care of it. I'll worry about it. Thanks, brother. Is she doing the same for us? Yeah, she would. I gotta be running low on gas now. I don't know how low. Oh, I went the wrong way. It is imperative that I do not go the wrong way. No. Landing damage. Well, I guess we're gonna we're gonna find out. Uh, when landing, you can reduce the damage done to your bike by using 
up control to angle your tires tires parallel to the ground. Landing from a high jump will always damage your bike. Should set you free. Okay. No. Start no. This living hell that is no. No. Nah, I don't think so, Cope. Not today. Just vehemently is like, no, thank you, Cope. Oh, there is gas here somewhere, though. I know that much. Whether or not it's actually... Oh, crap. There's some zombies over there. Whether or not it's right here is another story. Any gas? Any gas? Explosives? No, that's not gas. I wish it was gas, but it's not gas. Gas in here... I can't be too long here because you great. Why'd they bury this shit out here again? Oh yeah, because they're assholes. Uh, you t you tell them, Deacon. That'll show them. Making wide-ranging assumptions about people and where they live. All right, uh, I came up on this wrong side. I think. I think the gas is on the other side. Well, let's just see how much gas I got left. Twenty-three. Oh, we could ride through here. Keep an eye out for a tow truck. Tow trucks always got a little gas on them. And I don't see any. Come on, no gas at all. Take a quick look through here. I believe we, we happen to catch the horde of zombies in a changeover state. Because normally I'm pretty sure this area is swarming. I remember uh, a few times in my original playthrough trying to clear out the horde of zombies that hangs around in this area, and it's uh, easier said than done. And even when we get higher level gear, it's really easy to just make a single mistake and you're dead. And that's it for you. Ooh, tow truck. There we go. Just trying to not run out of gas. Because running out of gas means pushing a motorcycle. And it's like, ah, how hard that be? It's got wheels. It's like, yeah, it's got wheels. And wheel things move pretty easy on flat land and nothing else. So you always want to keep that in mind. Oh man, bike took a little damage there from that quote unquote high landing. Yeah, pump it in. Give me the gas. Yes. Let's get out of here. I don't know why Deacon doesn't strap a can of gas to the back of his motorcycle, but hey, I'm not the one uh, making those calls. Oh crap, we got to go through the tunnel again. That is unfortunate. Although we did just clear no, it. No, so. no, no. Sniper. Snipers. No, no. God damn it, not now. Ow. Ow, I hate you. Nope, that's not it. Uh, you feel that, huh? God Take that. Sniper. Yeah, try and ambush me. I see how it is. Yeah, you didn't. I'm about to get you, though. Kia! You're dead. Thanks for playing. Definitely just shot my motorcycle with a sniper rifle around. That's probably not good for the engine. There was definitely some sort of tool tip about uh, repairing the engine, so... I forgot all about the snipers. Because you saw in, like, one of the beginning cutscenes is that there are people literally just lying in wait to ambush you. And some of them are a little more well-armed than others. Alright. Do I got the scrap to repair it? Yes, repair it, repair it. Six scrap, my god. I don't know if that's a lot of scrap, because I don't know offhand how much scrap I have, but jeez. Let's pop a quick save. Give me that quick save, yes. Through the tunnel of doom! Oh, there we go. That's a stopping point right there, and that's as far as we go. What else we got going on here? Stuff? Jimmy this car hood open. We'll stab the knife in there and just wiggle it around and that opens a hood. I think it'd be a little more difficult than that, but game's got a game, so to speak. And you would think these, these tunnels would be, like, loaded with stuff. And to be fair, there is some stuff, but there's less than you'd think there would be. As far as, like, video game logic. It's like, oh, you know closed off tunnel there's got to be stuff all over the place it really isn't there's some cars with some stuff you can steal but there isn't like crates of ammo or i mean sometimes there is basically it's a crapshoot 
and I just recognized how unpleasant a sentence or a saying that is. Calling something a crap shoot. Yeah, push it. Push it real good. Come on, a little further. Just enough to get the bike through. You can do it. I mean, that's more than enough, but we're gonna keep pushing. There we go. How are we looking up there? This is Radio Free Oregon. No. The truth shall set you free. No, Radio Free Oregon. No hell. I'm not gonna listen to this bullshit. Thank you for sharing my sentiment, Deacon. The first time I played through this game and I didn't, like, realize you could skip those, I sat there listening to it for, like, a long time. And was just like, oh, man, I really don't like listening to this guy spout nonsense. And then I noticed that there was a skip skip button for it in the bottom left and felt so angry that I had listened to it all the times previously when I could have just skipped it. We get, no, we're going to have to make another hole here. Uh, maybe back it up a little bit. There we go. I don't know why you wouldn't just leave the the bike on so you can see the light, but it's not my call to make, Deacon. That's your call. I got no more room for any of this. Okay, that's great. Oop, little hippity hop, and push this massive 3,000 pound vehicle out of the way. That where the game's just like, oh yeah, by the way, all these vehicles are in neutral and their brake lines have been cut, so they're super easy to push around. <laughs> In reality, a car that isn't quote-unquote in gear is not going to move like that at all. And even if you were to, like, say, cut brake lines, it still would move because it would be locked and parked. And some cars, you don't need the ignition to change gears, but the cars, you do. Nothing here outside. I wonder if there's anything inside that mobile medical unit. Yeah, there probably is, Deacon. Let's check it out. MMU fuse panels. If a Nero MMU needs a fuse, spares can be found by searching the Nero checkpoint. Oh, God damn it! Fuse blown. Yeah, this is one of those things. It's not always just filling oh, up gas in the generator. Gotta get a fuse. You just look backwards. Oh, I was gonna say it showed us footprints. There we go. No, not this way. This way? Yeah, there we go. I see the footprints. Where they? Where do they lead? Show me the glory. Okay, let's take a look around. Okay, the, the footprint's definitely just dead end there. Oh, wait, I see corpse on the ground. Ooh, and gas. Lovely. Which way? Ugh. You got torn in half, buddy. You're mine now. What? Who's, who's yours? Why are they yours? Where, where are these footprints leading? I don't know. Let's see, are these my footprints? That's not going to help anybody. Back of the truck, maybe? Survey says. Looks like a fuse <laughs> to me. Fuse. Yes. Good. Fuse good. And uh, any one of these that isn't swarmed. Oh, and I almost just forgot that we have to. We have to de speaker this. Any of these that aren't swarmed before we turn the power on, we should thoroughly check. Because, as I said, every one has, like, one of those boosters. So, accessing and opening these up is important. And it's kind of all the same. Uh, as you notice, there are zero zombies here. That is not the same for all of these checkpoints. Not even a little bit. And we got to make sure to be thorough about the speakers, because even just one speaker is going to draw a lot of zombies in. And while I know that because of prior knowledge of the game... We're going to we're gonna miss one eventually, or we're gonna try and do one in a rush. Because there are certain Nero checkpoints that are near bigger areas that have a lot more zombies to them. So we'll miss one eventually, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But it's best to be avoided uh, this early in the game. Basically, the early early saga of this game is trying to survive. Once you can get a handle on that, you can move on to being a little bolder. And a little less intense about the way you play the game, but right now we gotta gotta be knuckled up pretty much. Yeah, now we're in business. Oh yeah, fuse. I'll let you do it. The real question is, do we have to gas up the generator again? I think we do. 
Maybe. No. <laughs> Out of gas. Of course. I just saw some gas. Oh, in the tent. That's right. Like, where, oh, where did that gas can go? Fuel. Right there? Yes. Fuel! Petrol! As the, uh, the British would say. A little bit of petrol. Alright, fill it up. Yes. Glug, 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 glug. Gas and the generator. That's it. That is it. Good. Push the button, Deacon. Do it. Pacha! Green lights, green lights are good. Green light, damn it. That's gonna bring them all down on me. Oh, uh, no, I missed one already. Oh, crap. I forgot about that one. Crap, 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 crap. Nope, nope, hold on. Excuse me, let me just uh, get rid of this here. Yeah, I, I see you right behind me. Just uh, give me a second. I knew I was going to screw that up. Alright, three isn't too bad. We could probably take three. Damn it. Not if I just suck and whiff constantly. There we go. Come on. Yep. Yeah, that's... Okay. I think we're... I think we're good. We almost broke our melee weapon, but... There we go. Blowing through the scrap. Alright, so let's see what I mean about just... You think you got them all, and then you turn the power on, and you didn't get them all. Let's see what they got there. Right after we listen to this lovely message. Well, this is gonna explain what the hell you, you guys are doing out here. To your vehicle. We will get to you. And here, for 12 hours, I've got two sick children in the back. We, we need... We don't have any water. We just need a little bit of water. Ma'am, you must return to your vehicle now. Eddie, you got some bottled water. Give it to her. All we got left Give is... it to her. Thank you. Okay. Go back to your vehicle. Yes. Plenty more through very soon. Okay. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? What's wrong? I lied to her. What? They're not letting anyone else through. The refugee camp's full. What are we going to do? I don't know about you, but I got a plan. A plan? What are you talking about? I don't understand. No! No, no, no! Ah! Ah! Well, I'm... Jesus Christ. So many people. It's like Boozer said, hell of a way to go, backed up at these checkpoints, waiting to die. <sighs> Nero injector. Yeah. Just what the doctor ordered. Uh, yeah. What she technically did, I guess, constitutes a plan, but I don't, I don't know. I don't feel good about that. <laughs> yes, health boosted. I have to well, do Nero checkpoints. a little under the weather. So I just shot some random drugs into my arm with zero consequences and actual benefits even. Anyway, get a little gas in the motorcycle and get out of here because I can I can hear zombies. There 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 they are. They're pretty angry that I'm here. Yeah, I guess. You know what? No. Come on, bring it on. Ooh. Yeah, you go. <laughs> Just one. One zombie is not scary enough to deter me from putting gas in my motorcycle. Nope, again, Deacon, that is the wrong button. Nope, nope, there we go. Alright, so as Deacon does the gas can shuffle here, I'm going to go ahead and say that's all the time I have for this episode. So, thank you everybody so much for joining me on another exciting look into the world of Days Gone. I'm Diva Lost Time Gaming. If you enjoyed the video today, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.